find the jet parameters for the uh, two port network in figure given below. So here uh, if you observe this uh, figure or uh, circuit, so here it is a two port network, uh, but uh, elements are capacitors and resistors. So one farad capacitor, two farad capacitor are the series elements and shunt elements are one ohm and one ohm. So here uh, uh, we divided the two port networks into three models. So first model is if all the elements are resistors so we are assuming that as a model 1 and in model 2 uh, along with the resistors if there is any dependent sources so we are assuming that as a model 2 and in third model if there is any energy storing elements in the circuit in the two port network then we are assuming that as a model 3 so here there are capacitors two capacitors are there one farad and two farad which are energy storing elements so that's why we are assuming this as a uh, model 3 so here very immediate step is we have to write the entire network in the H domain. So H domain. So for capacitor 1 by SC and 1 by SC where C value is 1 that's why the capacitor becomes 1 by S ohms and here this capacitor is 1 by SC if you apply the same concept 1 by SC to this capacitor 1 by S into 2 so 1 by 2 S. So resistors value has been not changed and V1, I1 and V2, I2 are the port voltages and the port currents. So that is the first step. If there are any energy storing elements in the uh, two port network, first we have to write, uh, we have to convert the entire network into its uh, SC equivalent circuit. So this is the SC equivalent circuit. So after that jet parameter equations, V1 equal to Z11, I1 plus Z12, I2 equation 1 and V2 equal to Z21, I1 plus Z22, I2 which is equation so next is solving for jet parameters. So here also we are following the same concept. By making I2 equal to 0 we get uh, Z11 and Z21 and uh, by making I1 equal to 0 we get uh, the remaining parameters Z12 and Z22. So if uh, I1 equal to 0 there is no current in the capacitor we can remove the capacitor for the analysis purpose. So if I2 equal to 0 so these two elements are connected in series. So these two comes in series. So that is the difference by applying the conditions I1 equal to 0 and I2 equal to 0. So if I1 equal to 0, so there is no current in the capacitor and these two elements comes in series. If I2 equal to 0, so these two elements are comes in a series. So first we are making I2 equal to 0 to get uh, the two parameters. So here for I2 equal to 0. So if you apply I2 equal to 0, the circuit becomes like this. So V1, I1, 1 by S. 1 ohm, 1 by 2 s, 1 ohm. So now these two are in series. So there is no current coming from port 2. So but there is voltage V2. V2 is the old, uh, voltage uh, uh, across the uh, 1 ohm resistor. Now we have to get, if we apply the same condition to the uh, equations, so V1 equal to Z11 I1 plus 0. So Z11 equal to V1 by I1. And similarly if we make I2 equal to 0, Z21 equal to V2 by I1. We have to get that uh, Z11 which is V1 by I1 ratio and Z21 which is V2 by I1 ratio from this uh, uh, circuit. So here V1 by I1. So to get V1 by I1 uh, these two are in series so which is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 S and that is in parallel with uh, 1 ohm. Uh, so here it becomes uh, 1 plus 1 by 2 S. So these two are in series so that's why uh, net impedance uh, offered by these two elements in series is 1 plus 1 by 2 s and uh, this is in parallel into 1 by 1 plus 1 uh, 1 plus 1 by 2 s plus 1 plus and that is in series with the 1 by s. So this 1 by s comes in series with the tar equivalent which is 1 by s. So if you assume this as a z equivalent, z equivalent equal to 1 plus 1 by s into 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 s plus 1 plus 1 by s. So if you go on simplifying that we get z equivalent equal to so this one so s into 2s plus 1 plus 4s plus 1 by uh, s into uh, s into uh, 4s plus 1 like that so next step so for this entire network we can replace that with z equivalent so here z equivalent equal to so if you go on solving z equivalent equal to 2s square plus 5s plus 1 by uh, s into 4s plus 1 so z11 equal to v1 by i1 ratio which is equal to 2s square plus 5s plus 1 by s into 4s plus 1. So similarly, uh, we have to get uh, z21. 
v2 by i1 ratio so to get uh, z21 so z21 equal to v2 by i1 ratio so how do we get this uh, use current division rule and uh, find out current in this uh, branch so here i1 is the current coming to the node and uh, let us get uh, this i3 so i3 we are uh, um, uh, so inserting a variable i3 so which is a current in this branch after i2 equal to 0 so here the relation between v2 1 and i3 is v2 equal to 1 into i3 so similarly um, by using current division rule we can get a relation between i1 and i3 so that's why we are uh, inserting one intermediate variable variable which is a, which is there we can get a connection between v2 and i3 and i1 and i3 and after eliminating uh, so after that we are eliminating that i3 to get a relation between v2 and i1 so first the relation between v2 i3 and 1 is v2 equal to 1 into i3 so similarly by using current division rule so i3 equal to so 1 by because we have to take other branch uh, uh, impedance so other uh, this is the other branch impedance is 1 ohm by so sum of these impedances this impedance and this impedance this branch impedance and this branch impedance 1 plus 1 by 2 s plus 1 into i1 is i3 so here if you write i3 is equals to so i3 equal to 1 by uh, 2 plus 1 by 2 s into i1 so if you go on solving that we get a 2 s by 4 s plus 1 into i1 so here there is a relation between v2 and i3 v2 equal to 1 into i3 so here i3 equal to 2s by 4s plus 1 into i1 so in uh, substituting uh, this i3 value here we get uh, v2 equal to 2s by 4s plus 1 into i1 so here z21 equal to v2 by i1 ratio which is equal to 2s by 4s plus 1 so in that way we got z11 value as a function of s and z21 as a function of s so similarly if you make I, i1 equal to 0 we get the remaining two parameters we get the remaining two parameters so i1 equal to 0 so i1 equal to 0 means so here i1 equal to 0 so uh, current in this capacitor is 0 if current in this capacitor is 0 we can remove this uh, element for the analysis purpose so then circuit this becomes a circuit i1 equal to 0 and voltage across 1 ohms becomes v1 so if you draw the circuit so circuit becomes like this so this is the circuit now so 1 ohm 1 by 2 s 1 ohm so i2 v2 and voltage across 1 ohm is v1 so if you again take this uh, now this current is i3 so if you take current in this uh, branch is i3 uh, we can uh, again get the relation between i2 and i3 so again if i current in this branch is i3 so what is the relation between v1 i3 and 1 v1 equal to 1 into i3 so here we have to get z12 equal to v1 by i2 so v1 by i2 ratio is z12 and similarly z22 equal to v2 by i2 ratio so here first uh, we are trying for uh, getting Z, v2 by i2 so these two are in uh, series 1 plus 1 by 2 s is the impedance offered by this uh, branch and that is in parallel with 1 ohm so we if we solve this 1 into 1 plus 1 by 2 s by 2 plus 1 by 2 s which is equal to 2 s plus 1 by 4 s plus 1 so z22 equal to v2 by i2 which is equal to r equivalent equal to uh, 2 s plus 1 by 4 s plus 1 so that is one z parameter so similarly to get the other parameter that is uh, uh, z12 which is a ratio between uh, v1 by i2 v1 by i2 first we have to use uh, current division rule and get uh, what is the current in this uh, branch as a function of i2 so i3 equal to 1 by because we have to take other branch impedance 1 by 1 plus 1 plus 1 by 2s into i2 is i3 so here i3 is equals to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2s into i3 which is equal to 2s by 4s plus 1 into i2 so similarly what is the relation between v1 1 and i3 v1 equal to 1 into i3 so v1 equal to 1 into i3 so for i3 which is 2s by 4s plus 1 into i2 so substituting here so 2s by 4s plus 1 into i2 so finally z12 equal to v1 by i2 which is equal to 2s by 4s plus 1 so in that way we solved all four parameters so for the given uh, two port network where there is uh, some energy storing elements capacitors are there so if you write all the z parameters at one place so these are the z parameters so for the given uh, two port network uh, 
z11 equal to 2s square plus 5s plus 1 by s into 4s plus 1, z12 equal to 2s by 4s plus 1, z21 equal to 2s by 4s plus 1, z22 equal to 2s plus 1 by 4s plus 1. So here, so all the <coughs> elements in the given uh, two port network, so there are passive elements, there are no active elements and there are no <coughs> dependent sources. So that's why given two port network is a reciprocal and uh, it is not symmetrical about any uh, axis. So that's why uh, it is not symmetrical and it is reciprocal. So if it is reciprocal, we have to get Z12 equal to Z21 and if it is not symmetrical, Z11 is not equal to Z22. So we can uh, we can observe that uh, in the from the Z parameters. So Z12 equal to Z21. So the means uh, we can say they are the given two port network is reciprocal based on the uh, Z parameters and as Z11 is not equal to Z22, uh, the given two port network is not uh, symmetrical. So that is uh, here, this uh, uh, two port network comes, uh, we are assuming this as a model 3, where uh, there are energy storing elements uh, along with the uh, energy dissipating element resistors.